Hello, welcome. Um, my name is uh, Frederick Mwema, and today I want uh, to talk to you about choosing a topic for research. This is an important uh, uh, aspect, especially for students who are starting their graduate school could have just finished your coursework and master's program or you're just starting your PhD and you'd like to uh, choose an area or a topic to work on. So I'm sharing based on uh, my experience of uh, having developed different research uh, topics during my graduate school uh, as well as having worked with uh, different students uh, in, a, in, a, in engineering to come up with research titles and eventually completing successfully. Okay, and uh, in this uh, regard, I've developed a framework which, um, which, which has three aspects okay, to help you uh, come up with a research area or a research topic. These aspects are steps actually, which are actionable for you to achieve uh, the goal of uh, identifying a topic or a research area. And those steps are, number one is understanding the requirements of the graduate school and the institution in which you are enrolled or you are planning to enroll in that case. Uh, understanding your interests and what are those interests it eventually is the strength what are your personal strength as well as strength of the institution so in the first step um, the first question is uh, are there policies governing topics in the graduate school or research in general of course there will always be but in this regard is, do you understand them? And if you understand them, then you are good to go, to proceed. But in most cases, you find uh, you may not be aware of some of the details of the policies. And when I mean policies, you find uh, some research groups or departments or, or, or the institutions have different requirements on what we would call as a research area topics. Probably some areas are not allowed to to be researched in that institution, or uh, you are not supposed to come up with topics relating to military, relating to specific human issues and so forth. So you need to understand that. Once you understand that, you you should be able to comply when formulating your area of research. Once that is done, the next aspect is uh, to ask yourself, do you have interests? Okay, and what are those interests? Yes, if you have interest, is my interest in theoretical work? Is my interest in formulating complex theoretical problems and relating the, them with actual problems and explaining some of the fundamental issues in science, in community, and so forth. Is that, is that your interest? Or are you interested in purely experimental work? You're the person who loves going to the labs and trying things, trying setups, building rigs. As a mechanical engineer, are you that person who likes uh, investigating relationships of different mechanisms in a, in a, in a machine? Or, or in a material and so forth. Are you interested in community service? Do you want to take something, a research in a topic which you bond directly with the community? Maybe there is an issue in the community which has bothered you and you think this is the time. Now you can use this research opportunity to interrogate it and probably formulate a solution to it. Are you that person who is interested a lot in matters of global issues of climate change, uh, political matters, and so forth? And finally, specific industry 
you could find uh, that uh, you have been sent by a, a certain industry to undertake research in a, in a, in an institution sometimes you find those institutions require you to to solve their problems so if you're in that you really have no option you have to stick with that because there is probably you are bound by rules or contract of that institution okay so those are uh, interests you should consider sometimes you find uh, as a as a student you don't know what you want to do you don't have interests you are not, you, you you are not here or there you are in a gray gray area you don't know what to do that's the time you need to seek a mentor and a mentor this takes you to the third step that's where you have to look at a tutor in or a professor in the faculty uh, which you are planning to enroll or an expert could be somebody who is in the industry in the wide area you are working on probably you are in mechanical engineering you are in health you could talk to a doctor find out what are some of the issues or directly a professor in the in the in that institution to even guide you on some of the issues and to even help you to identify your interest one of the things is a, a professor will help you to identify or even cultivate interest in research in you so once that is uh, is done now we go to identifying your strengths before you conclude on choosing the area to work on you must you should consider strength this strength could be your strength what are you capable of doing and most importantly what can the institution or what are the strengths of the institution now human resource this is where now talking about the experts so once you have identified your area or your interest or you have spoken to a mentor and you have identified your uh, interest who should you consult which professor is it an administrator on uh, the policy matters regarding the, what i want to do is it a prophet a, a, a tutor who was lecturing you in one of the courses in, a, in, the, in the graduate school then what do i use if i'm planning to undertake computational fluid dynamics or i'm planning to undertake um, uh, highly uh, demanding work in the computations does the institution have the technology do they have supercomputers if you are an experimental person and you want to use um, advanced uh, material characterization techniques such as um, microscopes and uh, other facilities does the institution have those equipment the other thing you may find you have a very interesting area of research or topic or something you want to do but the institution may not have the first two technology and equipment but they may have the network is the institution collaborating with the best in the area okay or is the institution working with individuals or professor in other institution which who can support you and most important is also important to identify what is the focus area of the institution so who to consult do i consult a certain research group do i consult uh, a certain person what are the focus areas sometimes it's usually very difficult for you to go to a faculty where uh, the focus area is different from what you intend to do so introducing a near area could be if if could be difficult if um, a department mostly focuses on or a research area, a research group focuses on renewable energy my advice is seek an area related to that and so forth so once you know who to consult and you consult them you know they have available facilities based on the wide ideas you had or broad ideas you had you can knock out some of the things and you'll be left with a bit uh, leaner uh, area which could lead you to coming up with a topic of importance is to note that uh, at this stage you will have be talking to an expert 
or a professor to mentor you and you should be able to identify an area and eventually objectives and so forth at this stage of the interest i i state that uh, a preliminary literature review is essential to see if whatever you want to do in your area is really possible or whether there is a relevant literature so that you don't end up working or suggesting an area which really does not have content caution do not choose a topic because it is funded you have to choose it based on your interest do not choose a topic under peer or expert pressure don't choose a topic because you love the lecturer or you like the lecturer or your friends are choosing the same area choose it because you have the facility you are able to execute the the the, the, the objectives and you have the interest finally you must have a rough idea of the key steps throughout the research so if you find a person who cannot take you through the important steps of their research when they are suggesting the topic uh, then there is a problem so for example if you are planning to investigate um, a certain uh, a performance of a certain material or a certain um, equipment in your research at the bare minimum at the beginning or at the stage where you are suggesting the topic you should be able to roughly say some of the tests and the activities you need to undertake to achieve the overall goal of analyzing the performance of that system so finally here i showcase some of my books please uh, those who are in this area of thin films and materials characterization and manufacturing can purchase one of these books thank you for listening